Hello, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Excel to create CAD style drawings. And I'm not saying that you can send commands through Excel into AutoCAD. What I'm saying is you can actually create AutoCAD drawings inside of Excel. And the image that I'm showing you right now, this is inside of CAD. However, this was made in Excel. Yes, it was made 100% in Excel. In fact, here is the document that we have made and exported into CAD. This is exactly the same thing, and with 3D rotations and everything else in it, all exported into CAD, but created inside of Excel. So let me show you how to do this. First off, I'm going to jump over to a new page, and I'm going to plop in a few XYZ coordinates. Okay, so the program that we are going to be using is called Excel Draw. Excel Draw is an add-in for Microsoft Excel that basically converts Excel into an AutoCAD program. So you don't even need AutoCAD in order to create CAD style drawings. All you need is Excel and Excel Draw. So what I have right here, I have three squares that I have drawn up with X, Y coordinates. So negative one, negative one, one, and one. And I have three of them drawn up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first two and I'm going to click the rectangle option. Whenever I click that, you can see that we are going to have a graph populated right here. And it is off on a skew because I, I was playing around with this before I cut back in and I got the rotations off a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix those right back so we don't have any issues. There we go. Now we have a rectangle, well, two squares right there that are fixed. And let's move that back up. Okay, there we go. We got it all squared up, two rectangles, we're good. So what about the third one? Well, what I drew the third one for was so I could show you the rounded rectangles. Excel Draw does actually have rounded objects, such as rounded rectangles, and you select that, it will give you a rectangle that is rounded. And all of this can be exported into AutoCAD, which I'll show you in a minute. But what about 3D images? Well, Excel Draw can do that as well. I'm going to jump over to a new sheet and I'm going to plug in some XYZ coordinates to show you the 3D. Okay, so what I have here, I have put in some XYZ coordinates. This is going to be rectangles, while these are going to be lines, and these down here are going to be circles. So whenever we plot XYZ coordinates, we are going to need to say that Z values are included. So we have this little toggle right here that we're going to need to toggle on. Once we do that, then we are free to go ahead and graph our coordinates. So I have the square selected right here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'll click Rectangle. And as you can see, we now have rectangles populated. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to click line. And as you see, we now have lines populated. And then I'm going to go right here and I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to hit circle. And we now have the circles populated as well. So this might look pretty neat. However, since we do have the Z values enabled, we can go to our graph orientation and rotate this graph around so we can see it in three dimensions. So if I spin this around right here, you can see that we have a three-dimensional object that we have plotted. Now, as I mentioned before, Excel Draw does actually create CAD style drawings. So even though you can see this in Excel, it will export into a format that other CAD applications can read. For instance, if I click right up here at the CAD DXF, it will bring up a window that will ask me where I would like to save my new CAD drawing. So I'm going to select a new location. And let's give it a name of test. All right, so we have the folder export. We have the name export. We have the type of file we want. And I'm going to go ahead and click export. And it says it's already been created. Would you like to open the exported document? Yes, I would. So as you can see, we now have our 
drawing that we created. It has been created in Excel and it's been exported into CAD. So we can now view, rotate, zoom, and export this anywhere that we want. And we did all of this inside of Excel. We did not use AutoCAD for any of the creation process. So that is Excel Draw. I would like to thank you all very much for watching me. If you are interested in Excel Draw, there is a free trial available. I'm going to have the website linked down below. We also have an entire series on how you can control and automate Excel Draw to create CAD style drawings. If you have any questions about this or you would like to see something else, please leave a comment down below. We love to hear from you guys. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. And I'd like to thank you all very much for watching.